What's up guys, Josh from Colossus Fitness, and today we're gonna go over that face pull. We're gonna make sure that you guys are doing this right, teach you how to do it, show you a side-by-side -side comparison, go over some common mistakes, and show you some alternatives to this exercise. So first and foremost, when you guys are doing this exercise, you wanna come here, keep your arms nice and straight, kind of posture yourself out and squeeze those glutes. Get those glutes and core tight, and what you're doing is you're physically pulling this portion that connects to the cable towards your face. So here you'll notice, this is a face pull. This is not a face pull. Here I'm working my biceps. I'm not actually engaging my root delts. But by way of pulling to my face, keeping my elbow higher than my ears, I'm actually going to engage my rear delt. So that's gonna go ahead and look like this. Let's show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of what right and wrong looks like because they can be very close, but you wanna make sure you're not making this crucial mistake. Okay, so we just wanted to show you guys briefly the difference between right versus wrong. As you guys can see on the left, Josh is just kinda, you know, going through the motion. He's not getting any kind of squeeze like he is on the right. He's actually kinda getting like a bicep pump. You could call it that. Now you see him here just doing a bunch of half reps, and this is something we see very often in the gym, whereas on the right, he's getting a full range of motion, getting a nice contraction. And and then here, um, I decided I was just gonna take my shirt off to show you guys the actual muscle being worked within this exercise. As you guys can see, I'm really firing up that rear delt and onto these common mistakes. Okay, common mistake number one I see within the face pull is far too many people use way too much weight on this exercise, which is gonna lead to a lot of swinging, and they're gonna start to recruit a lot more muscle groups such as the back, the biceps, and they're not actually working the rear delts, which is what we're trying to do here. So you'll see people just load up on the full stack, and they'll go like this. Do a re-rock something crazy. Yeah. Oh, full stack, baby, that's it. And they're not actually working the rear delts. I see it far too often. Mistake number two, guys, is all about that body positioning. So there's a couple different ways to do this. In my opinion, if you're standing straight and you're letting the weight pull you, you're gonna get that momentum every time, which I like to avoid personally. So I like to take a step back Position that body and like I said, squeeze those glutes that's gonna force you to posture yourself. You don't wanna be at this point, you don't wanna be all the way straight, you just want a nice, maybe 20 degree bend, you're gonna be right about here. Now you can feel this tension already trying to pull me forward, now we're gonna fight that tension. By pulling back, that's gonna cause us to actually lift the cable's plane of motion upward. So you can see here, I'm going up, as opposed to the cheat reps that you saw Kyle do in mistake one, where he just pulls it in like this, he's recruiting his bicep, his back. You're gonna make sure you have that nice posture, maintaining that, squeezing your glutes, elbows up, and then that's how you do the face pull. Common mistake number three I see in the gym is the half repper. This happens all the time. And basically what happens is you're not actually retracting your scapula to work your rear delts properly. So you got the guy in the gym, he just feels like pulling it right to here and he's not getting an actual contraction in his rear delts to really grow them properly. You wanna do a full range of motion, elbows up, and really focus on getting that squeeze at the end. Whereas you see the half repper, he just goes right to here and he thinks he's getting the best pump and actually doing something where he realistically is just wasting his time. As for variations for this exercise, there are unfortunately not a ton. If you guys don't have cables or access to cables, your best option is to purchase bands or anything, hang them up from a higher platform and pull towards your face just like you would. So you can grab other sides of the bands, do exactly what we taught you with the cables, with the bands, nothing crazy there. Past that, however, rear delt exercises are kind of limited to, we call it the cross arm rear delt. We have a tutorial for that. You can check the card up above. And then aside from that, you're kind of limited. There's some dumbbell flies, but there's not too many things that replace the face pull. So I really recommend you add this to your routine. It really, really, really will help with the development of the rear delts. That's it. That's all. I'm not joking. All right guys, hope you enjoyed learning all about the face pull. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. YouTube's algorithm will help push up this good info for more people to see it. Let's see if we can get to a thousand likes. If we can do a thousand likes on this video, we will do a giveaway, guys. Be sure to check out all the other videos in our series about how to lap pull down. Tons of good ones. You can just go through the playlist to the right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already for more great content. Peace.
That was good, was just it? Just quit. Not? Just come on. No. You know, you know what you did. Let's go quickly. No, I didn't. You stopped me. You were like more muscle. Um. No, I didn't. It. I said. All right, let's problem. get it. Come okay. on. Okay, common mistake number one. <laughs> I did.